out of the red corner from Texas, here is undefeated Virgil Ortiz Jr. Virgil Ortiz Jr., just 21 years old. Fighting at 147 pounds in this fight. And curious to see how his power will hold at this weight. Trunks here are good. Anything below this line's a foul. Trunks here are good. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to remind you, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. God bless you both. Touch up. And Herrera said what I want to do is I want to get him to start to question himself. See if he can do that. When Saddam Ali fought Herrera in December at Madison Square Garden, he walked away saying, that's a rugged fighter. Could be slippery, frustrating, a different kind of opponent for young Virgil Ortiz. Yeah, he knows all the tricks, He's been around the track. Ortiz has showcased serious power thus far in his pro career. But again, the question is, will it translate in the same way or any differently here at 147? A heavier weight than he is used to fighting and probably a heavier weight than he will be fighting after this. This is not a guy that's easy to get out of there. In fact, in his eight defeats, Mauricio Herrera has never been knocked out. And that's a very good test, I think, for Ortiz. Who has finally embraced the idea that he needs rounds. <laughs> exactly. For a while, he was focused solely on the knockouts. But he said he now understands why his team wants him to get rounds. Big left hand from Ortiz Heard that it. stung Herrera. Heard it. Yes. You could see that power right away from Virgil Ortiz. And why he has six first round knockouts in his 12 pro fights. Another stiff left hand for Virgil Ortiz. Herrera said, look, I'm okay with the role of being the guy to take on the up and coming prospects. Just make sure they're good ones. Make sure there's some kind of audience for me on these fights. And Virgil Ortiz is one of the best out there as far as young prospects go. No question. You can see for a young guy, he's really balanced. Sets down on his punches nicely. You can just feel the power in his punches, yes, too. Yes. Herrera covers up, ducks out of the way of Ortiz. Of Herrera. <laughs> that one I know Herrera has heard before. <laughs> okay. 38 years old. Plenty of experience for Herrera, who still has bad memories about his only shot at a world title when he challenged then unified super light title as Danny Garcia in Puerto Rico in 2014. And many felt he should have won the fight. Instead, it was a majority decision loss. Yeah, it was criminal, quite honestly. And he said, you know, he's, he's trying to get over it, but anytime somebody brings it up, it is something that causes him pain to think about. Yeah, he said he used to watch the tape all the time, and then finally somebody in his family lost the tape. Now he said, I think I finally maybe passed it. But we also talked to him about wanting to be a champion, still having that drive, and quite honestly, he said, no, not really. Yeah, right. And he said the loss there kind of zapped that part of him out. And when he was asked about age, he said, Ortiz and again Herrera get, get tied up. Get your head up, okay? And Herrera being warned about his head. He said, look, I don't, I'm not old. I don't fight old. It's just maybe a lack of motivation that you could see at times because of no longer 
feeling like he has a shot at a, a world title. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's he's the definitive opponent, and I, I don't really mean that in a bad way. I mean, he's still got plenty left. He's still got all his faculties, uh, and he is the kind of guy that were that to start to slip a little bit, he would say that's it enough. But he's, he's crafty, and he's a tough test for a young fighter. Ortiz landed a couple nice shots in the first round, including one that appeared to hurt Herrera a bit. He's diving with that jam, and now Herrera keeping him at distance. Ortiz covering up as he creeps closer. Big right hand from Ortiz. Caused Herrera to back up. You can see why there's so much excitement about Virgil Ortiz every time he unloads those hands. The power flies. Let him go, let him go, stop! No knockdown, no knockdown, I got you. you Gotta get your head up, you have to lift your head up. Don't, don't push him down. Let's go. You see Herrera saying, yeah, man, don't push me. <laughs> Nice little exchange there from Herrera and Ortiz and a huge right hand from Virgil Wobble. Ortiz. And a big left. Herrera stumbles back. Herrera is under attack from Virgil Ortiz. And he is down. Hey, Mauricio. Estás agarrado. Estás esperando que te agarre con la derecha. Vamos, Nico. Hay que hacerlo más el jab. ¿Cómo te sientes? Now, to give you some perspective on what we're seeing from Virgil Ortiz and what we may be about to see, Mauricio Herrera has never been knocked out in his career. That was a huge right hand. And you can see him pronate that punch. I mean, he does things like a guy who's been around a lot longer than he has. Got a little careless here in trying to close the deal. Okay. But that start of round number three. The impressive 21-year-old Virgil Ortiz already with fireworks through the first two rounds and a cracking right hand to begin the third. Another big right followed up by double left. Ortiz just swinging away and connecting cleanly at the right out. and out. That is it. A ferocious right hand just knocked out Mauricio Herrera for the first time in his career. Round number three, your winner, by KO victory from Texas, and still undefeated, Virgil Ortiz Jr. Thinking you were going to get rounds, hoping you were gonna get rounds. Instead, you do what no opponent's done to Mauricio Herrera, you stopped him. How do you feel about the way you fought? You know, I'm actually pretty proud of this fight. If y'all know me enough, you know, kept up with my fights, you know, I'm usually not satisfied with my performance. And I just want to tell y'all, and I hope you guys are too, I'm very satisfied with my performance tonight. <laughs> Mauricio is a very crafty fighter who has made some really high-level fighters look pretty bad during their career. How were you able to keep him off you throughout these first three rounds? Well, like I said, everyone thinks that I don't have all that experience just because I'm 12-0, or I'm 13-0 now. Um, but, you know, people don't realize I work in the gym hard every day. I spar world champions all the time. I'm not the one that goes up to the world champions, hey, can we spar? They come up to me, and that's the difference between me and these other prospects. I'm going to take a look at the knockout right here on the screen. Just tell me what you saw when you landed those finishing punches. I, he was keeping his left hand down the whole time, and I knew that I was fast enough to capitalize on that. You know, um, I mean, other than that, it's, I had the fight figured out after the first round. You jumped up to 147 for this fight. You have said you'd like to have one or two fights back at 140. After this performance, does that change your mind at all? No, not at all. Um, I want to go back to 140 and get that world title. You know, there's there's plenty of champions that I believe that I can take on right now, and I hope after this performance that everyone believes in now. 13 and 0, but still a very young guy. What kind of fights are you ready for at this stage of your career? If they tell me, hey Virgil, fight in a world title fight in two weeks, I'll take it right now. Congratulations, Virgil. Thank you.